to our left. And Matthews rolls it backwards to John White. And we're underway here in Essex. White spreads the ball out to the left wing where Joash Nemhard will see it out of play. And we'll start the game with a Hawks throw. And delivery will come in from right down by the left-hand corner flag. A couple of steps in from the touchline. A couple of steps out from the byline. And Braintree Town just standing right on the toes of Ross Warner. About six or seven players crowding around the Hawks keep here. This will be a test if the ball goes into that area. In the swing, a curl towards the hands of Ross Warner. He's missed it. It's gone between post and the six-yard box and flashed through that corner of uncertainty out for a Braintree Town corner two centre-backs, but he's brought it down here with a touch to Critchlow. He flicks into Rooney, he flicks into Roberts, the ball's still in the air for the Hawks. Roberts has brought it down, edge of the penalty area, back to Paul Rooney, striding towards goal and he's lifted it over the bar. Never really had it under control, did the Irish midfielder as he broke into the penalty area after a series of flicks from the white shirts to happen to Waterlooville. Straight up in the air goes the brain tree clearance. Headed away once, but only as far as Billy Clifford. He's nodded it down towards Rooney. Does find Jake McCarthy. He's going to try another shot from range and hitting it on his laces from 35 yards, but never really troubling Sims as it bounces wide of the post and hits the advertising hoardings. I mean, every time Jake McCarthy hits a body like that, Adam, I half expect to start screaming because it's found the top corner, but this time only the stand behind the goal. Clifford with his back to goal has to go backwards to Joe Ostler, the skipper. Ostler's looking to chip one into Pryor, who's surely being manhandled. And this time the referee does choose to give the decision the way of the Hawks forward. And now it's all kicking off slightly in front of us. Brayson Pryor has been sent off for the Hawks for a kick out at Joe Musket. Newton heads out of play. Alton top to take the throw quickly. The wrong side of Newton. It goes to Clemens. Here's Folks, he's skipped past Newton to the bar line, back across goal. Great block in there by Joash Nemhard, because that was bound for the feet of Amanchi. Rooney heads on one more, but still not cleared properly from the Hawks. And Alton Top sent it back over the top of Newton, who's having to fight to get away from Clemens. And this time, the free kick goes the way of the Hawks. Clemens wrestling on the back of Joe Newton as their left back tried to clear it. A couple of nervy moments in there, though, for having more to lose about acclimated to him as the game went on and that really does seem like the case. Josh Neymar starting to have Amanti's number in the last few exchanges. As Matthews breaks the wrong side of the Hawks, he's lifted the ball over Ross Warner and just about shaved that post. And that came from nothing really, a long ball booted forward while we were discussing Josh Nemhard. Rooney, chip to Roberts, might drop to Roberts, in the area, back to goal, spinning, on his right foot, shot, find the back of the net, what a fantastic goal, James Roberts puts the 10 men of having a Waterlooville up with a supreme strike at Braintree, with his back to goal, he spun inside the area and curled one past the outstretched arms of Jack Sims and into the top right corner from the left-hand side of the box and Haven and Waterlooville have a 1-0 lead here over the iron and it's the 10 men that take the lead and it's the Hawks fans that are celebrating to our left. An in-swinging delivery from the right wing for Newton from this free kick. In it comes from Newton. Good looking ball towards them. Hard. He's flicked it on towards the back post, but it's come off his shoulder more than anything and dropped in front of Sims, who can pick it up. And he'll look to get the iron going quickly on the right wing through Alton Top. Rooney beats Alton Top in the first power and the second drops to James Roberts. Alton Top's clattered into him on this left wing. Driven out to the left wing where Pharrell's run onto it. Folks now battling with Critchlow. Folks just standing up at the edge of the area, trying to run past Benny Reid, laid off to Musket, 25 yards from goal, on his right foot, he's going to shoot to Tess Warner, and Warner leans back and palms it over the bar, out behind for a Braintree corner. Coming short to receive the ball's Folks, he's waved away, in swinger from Payne, towards the back post, free for the header, is Clemens, but it's nodded over the bar, still not cleared properly, loose in the area, can they bundle it over the line? Still not cleared, and eventually Joe Newton fires out of play, where the ball seemed to be sat on the goal line for an eternity, waiting for someone in orange to smash it in, but the Hawks scramble it away, and it's another corner kick from this right wing. Another corner kick, again an in swinger from Payne, again towards that back post, Clemens wins the header, this time it's blocked again in front of goal, and Warner spreads himself and tips it over the bar. Hawks have a escaped twice with three headers for the same player at the back post. Braintree Town from right to left. One substitution, Pasley on for Benny Reid for the Hawks. No changes for Braintree. Critchlow on the right wing, driving forward towards the byline. Flick back across goal. Danny Wright heads towards the bar and it just loops over and drops behind for a Braintree goal kick. A few thought as the net rippled that had gone in. 
plenty of good comment coming in. Keep it coming. We love the chat. We love hearing from you. Here's Alfie Matthews, back heeled to Payne, left-hand side of the area. Crossed in towards the big man up top, Amanchi, and then it's headed away by the Hawks, only as far as Clemens, who heads towards Ross Warner, who makes another brilliant save, knocking out past his post and out behind Braintree Corner. What a crazy few moments that was. James Roberts on the left-hand side of the area. James Roberts cutting in on his right foot. Shot blocked by White. Bounces back to James Roberts, who just shrugged his man off the ball. Still going. This time he's going to curl a left foot one way wide and over the bar. But quite settled, often turning up late for training and even matches. A more mature player now as Gio Critchlow's released James Roberts. Roberts striding away. The wrong side of Braintree. White trying to recover. And it's just dribbled past the post. Referee hasn't pointed for a corner or a goal kick yet, eventually does point for a corner. Roberts head in hands, that was his moment. And the referee, after Rooney was tripped, seemingly tripped by Amanchi, has again not given the decision and the frustrations continue to boil for having a Waterloo film. But the players in white are seething as a long switch finds Farrell in the area. Farrell for Braintree Town on his left boot, drives it into the side netting. And Nemhard now turning past him to calm down because he's continued this conversation with the referee. Real danger here of the Hawks coming down to nine, as there was with Rooney. And now Blair's been released for Braintree. Blair, he's in behind. He's flicked to pass Warner. Can Nemhard get off the line? He won't have to. It's dribbled just past the post. Piling bodies around the yellow-shirted goalkeeper. Josh Pasley in the invert, and he flicks it on, and then it's sent over the bar. And Josh Pasley tried to head it away. Instead, headed it back across goal, and then Alton Top fired his volley over the bar. Bra At the moment, that doesn't seem to work. Diagonal sent forward by Braintree into Clemens. He's in the area. He's laid it back off to Blair. Blair's got a curl one towards goal and find the back of the net with a wonderful right-footed strike. Well, Braintree Town a level. Long ball to Clemens. Laid back off to Blair from a similar position to where James Roberts scored his goal. He's curled one in, but now everyone's stopped. And on that far right-hand side, the offside flags up and the celebrations are halted. Well, everyone had jogged back into position for the restart from the goal kick and only now for the centre kick and only now are we seeing that offside flag I don't think even the referee had spotted it he let Blair go through his entire celebration routine down in front of this main stand a pretty bold decision but it looks like Roberts and Fowl will drop back in and, and do some defending in front of Pasley and Newton as well but a pretty bold move to bring on a, a striker which traditionally plays up front this late on. Regis has the ball right hand side for Braintree. He's going to cross towards Amanchi. Amanchi misses it. Might run through to Farrell. Farrell loops it back into the area. Amanchi's there again. This time he heads under the bar and in. And Braintree have a leveller. The Iron do get their goal against the 10 man of the Hawks. And they couldn't hold out any longer with 15 minutes left to play in this one. Musket takes a poor touch. Fouls taken it off him, but Blair's taken it off him in turn and works out to the right hand side. Acres of space on the right wing for Braintree. Into Alton Top. Alton Top across the area. Regis deflected and cleared away at the back post heroically by Josh Pasley. I'm not quite sure how that hasn't found the back of the net, but the Hawks still remain level. Danny Wright in there battling with two defenders. Charging to the back off by Farrell. So too is Rooney. The referee's not interested. And Blair's picked up the ball when he's leading an attack for Braintree. Rolled out to the right. Sliding in there's McCarthy. He's missed the ball. Muskets on it in the area. Looking back for Matthews. Matthews takes out across towards Blair. Blair's header. It's over the line. Is it? No. And it cleared away by Osler. And somehow that's not gone in for Braintree Town. The ball stopped dead on the line. Caught between the legs. Great touch, Danny Wright, to bring it down on the left-hand side. And Danny Wright's just holding up for the Hawks here. He's laid a ball through to Foul. Foul streaking away on the left. Roberts making his way into the area. Foul, one-on-one -on -one with his man, into the box, trying to stand him up. Rolled through to Paul Rooney, but a brilliant touch in there by Matthews, who just slides it behind as Rooney was waiting to arrive late at the back post. It'll be an in-swinger. A chance here potentially to shoot as well. Braintree Town with a late chance to find a winner on home soil. Their first home game of the season. The 10 men have held resolute so far. This might be the last thing they have to hold out. Two and a half minutes into added time. Free kick comes in for Braintree. He's gone for goal. And it's side netting. Some thought perhaps it had hit the onion bag. But it's just side netting. And Ross Warner can take a goal kick. And the Hawks can breathe easy at least for a moment. And that will do it here in Braintree.